Okay, we're back at this again. So yeah, uh, the celebration this got a new flag. Looks pretty, pretty damn cool actually. Celebration in Spain, I got old one, so hopefully uh, we can see that later. But uh, yeah, we're getting inklings of uh, things to come really. That's in the dark. Who have done that? Yeah, we're getting inklings of um, some of the things that are going to be coming in a new update. So actually, hold on. Oh, yeah, you can choose whether to continue enforcement or in prohibition. Let's rejoin our situation, doesn't look promising. <laughs> Letter could get into more selling. Yeah, I'll be reading some more of that now uh, once I do this legitimately. So don't don't you worry. When I should do official US, but I will read through all of this. But I'm just skimming over most of it because it's not gonna be relevant for when we do what we're doing. Me to part. Other realization never stops. We must sack all the useless bureaucrats at ease. The national budget. Talking about national budget, we must slash it as well. Everything is not central. Must go from the list now. See how weird we just get rid of anything and everything. So yeah, we got like a month or two before our election day comes. And we're gonna be electing the jobless progressives because that is how we're gonna make things um not great in the US of A. Also we get to see some more of this. That boys into California at least. Let's see also the last episode. To give a quick refresher, we start focusing on this. Seeing a bunch of events, most of which I skimmed through, some of which I've read. So, mainly talk about the uh, clan civil war, the raging dust bowl, government efficiency, corruption, gang, black market, you know. You know, the usual things that you see in. Uh, the US of A in the midst of the depression. Anyway, the 36th election. This is the big decision that will basically decide how well your the US paths will be. <coughs> Anyways, no last election day has arrived. Everyone knows how important this election is. The last two decades I've seen a radical change in the international order and in the internal situation within the states. Economic mishap, radicalism, and extremism on the rise. Rule developments, weaponry, everything to make the next decade hectic, violent, and even apocalyptic. Who America selects to be depressed, therefore, is a big deal. From the left, we have James Renshaw Cox. A Catholic priest and proponent of political, economic, and social reform. He's got less progressives and got a lot of working class support and are seen as serious by big business and more authoritarian by politicians. Now we have Dan Moody, the youngest governor of Texas ever elected, the candidate of the American Party. Moody has solidified reputation for its anti clan census and has promised a reasonable and moderate government. The incumbent Republicans, scrambling off the Mills resignation, put forward Bronson M. Cuddy as the candidate, a senator from New Mexico, who he has championed a platform of freedom of speech and economic reform and has been heavily fighting with Moody over middle class, for middle class voters. Finally, there is Howard Scott of the Technocrats. Technocrats. An engineer, Scott has proposed radical policies including replacing currency exchange with energy accounting and creation of a scientific broad board to oversee the exchange of goods and the creation of the North American Technic, ranging from Alaska and Canada all the way to Venezuela and Colombia. He has been the most popular among engineers, scientists, and self styled intellectuals. Future America is now in the hands of the voters. The votes have been counted, and the president has decided the winner is James Renshaw Cox. Reform. P. 
picking the vice candidate. This is also very important. I'll explain mine a bit. As the election day draws near, the parties are searching far and wide for people to fill the cabinet of this new presidency. The vice presidency, once dismissed by John Nancy Garner as not being worth a warm bucket of piss, <laughs> does not does have a role to play. They can give advice to president and can act as both president of the Senate and tiebreaker, not to mention the fact that they can separate and case the death of the president. Jealous progressive candidate James Ventura College has two main candidates in mind for the position. First off is Florio H. LaGuardia, a charismatic politician. His ties mayor in New York saw the unifying of the transit system, saw the building of low income housing, playgrounds, parks, and even airports, and restored faith in the police and the state government. He is considered or the authoritarian by detractors for his dominion style leadership, but his support already doesn't really prove his ability to pass pragmatic and moral legislation. The other candidate is a liberal girly friend. Finally, member of the American Civil Liberties Union, she has been a strong advocate for freedom of speech, labor rights, real rights, including birth control, and even socialism. Her radical policy proposals for a new uh, Commonwealth of Labor, based on a Republican and anarcho syndicalist proposal, were in the moderates of the party, but no one can deny her commitment to her ideals as a charisma. Needs to say, could represent a major turn to progressive. It could remain a moderate social democratic party with Florida champion social reform war. Responsible federal government over it could become a socialist party with a strong focus on free speech and labor issues and as a ground with the state. At the end of the day, the choice is up to Cox. So, <clears throat> I guess here we have a more moderate social, social democrats under LaGuardia. Or we become very, very socialist with Flynn. So we shall elect Vice President Flynn. Liberty shall never perish from this earth. Indeed. And so now we must focus on Cox's presidency. John Russell Cox, now the president of the United States of America, his jobless progressive party shall seek to reform this country and improve the living conditions of the weakest in the country. He shall be an upper power, but one that can be won. So the democracy in America is not a faraway dream, but a present day reality. So yeah, Cox, though, very, very good intentions. So I'll read this. Jobless Progressive Party wins American election after a long period of heated tensions. James Winslow Cox's Jobless Progressive Jobless People's Party won the election against the important the largest contributing factor to his victory was the ongoing depression. Cox called for massive relief programs. Economic recovery and societal reform was resonated with a large part of American society, especially from the middle class and the traditional sources based of heavy industry workers. Cox's victory came in spite of attacks coming from the highly conservative South, parts of the West, and even the educated professional class, heterodox workers' group, which supported the technocratic movement. Liberals and reformist circles celebrated around the country, cheering for the first time since the Whigs and a third party defeated a major party in the United States. These are events. So, yeah. Cox, though. Asian thing. He's really caring for the people. Uniting coalition. Well, uniting uh, the party. Uniting the people. Ending the Dust Bowl. Ending the Hungers. And then he had a poverty in America. Which, probably not, that's it. I guess Focus 3 Part 2. Or is it Walter Cox? Well, you have to find out that uh, things don't go well for the man. Unfortunately. Anyways. Formation the America Deutsche Volksbund. The new hair is probably the new radical movement in America. The America Deutsche Volksbund. Or the Amer German American Bund. Which is established in New York City, the fusion members of the German American dominant organization, chiefly the small society of Teutonia, and civil labor unions in Pennsylvania and the Midwest. The founders, including the former Bavarian Army veteran Fritz Julius Kuhn, have cited the shit heritage and also a new ideological alignment in unifying these disparate groups. It is these last same that the most interesting development. Germany's continued division between the Free Social Republic and the Prussians have been mixed among a number of politically active German Americans in the United States. Nationalist Germans, disdain communist internationalism, and so on. Hey, the organization press a new line of socialism, living down a part of Goebbels' National Majority Workers' Party of Germany, moving into workers' movement with a kind of German ethnic nationalism. The humanity and I were essentially left and right wing groups, something out of curiosity. Nevertheless, the political field in the USA is already clouded and is unlike the one we'll find a large niche of settling. Some kind of national socialism? Bizarre. 
be quite bizarre. Look at that. Makes sense. So yeah, for those that don't know, uh, Fritz Jules Kuhn, I think was his name was. Yeah, he was also the other German American born, which also acted very similar to uh, what this uh, Amerikaner Deutsches Volksbund, as it says, is very, very similar, but uh, in very different in some ways. Because you know the, the Nazis don't exist in this timeline because uh, because it's over here in Austria trying to moderate the politics, actually Rome. But yeah. <laughs> be went over to this and so you guys will see exactly what's gonna go down here for your boy <coughs> James Sorry. the throat is killing me <coughs> a sip of water I know why the fuck has been going on I think my throat might be just be a bit dry or something. Yeah, the college president is here. Now I have a new day in America. No longer shall people die from lack of food. While no longer shall people remain homeless. While there are so many houses left about. No longer shall the poor be denied their freedom. The new America shall generate a better, kinder nation. We're gonna be fixing this shit. No matter what anyone says. That was a wee bit. Well, we got two uh, potential unifiers. So we got Cynthia. So Gorgola might have to come out on top. And we got Eurasia. Oh, and gas stop one. That's interesting. So let's see. That's one, two, three, three, and I think four unifiers. So we got four unifiers on the scene. I, this guy's gonna mess with things over here. Could be interesting. Could be interesting to see Russia sometime later. Some of these might as well. I need to do anything with them, but I might as well have them. Yeah, so the technocrats. Let's play some environment. Because the previous administration failed to accurately respond, President Kyle made combined the Dust Bowl cornerstone in his campaign. Now the time action. Of course, the time the wedding became the dust bowls required consulting experts. The cousin misinterpretation has begun reaching out the conservationists in you know, academia to draft a response, but also on the front lines of disaster Oklahoma. While the states in the affected area has been the hub of technocracy, England work to demonstrate the strength of the scientifically managed approach of America's ills. Their research on soil conservation and to subsidize farmers in choosing more environmentally healthy methodologies have been promising. Despite being largely self funded due to federal disinterest, this is an opportunity for the new government. No in the conservation, probably progenitor of the Appalachian Trail, Ben McKay's, has been tasked by the Cox administration to save the federal response to the Dust Bowl. For a member of the Technical Alliance alongside Howard Scott, McKay's should help bring the expertise of those local visionaries into the JPP's program. We do do the I'm tired of coughing up dust. See, yeah, Cox is now reaching out to various groups. There's a technocrat, the soil stuff. And try over as many people as they can. So, the union, we stand with the workers in the struggle for better wages and safer living conditions. This means unionization, for they are the best method of organized workers to defeat the corrupt. The government should start deciding more with them and labor disputes than the bosses. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, gonna be make it things better for everyone. Everyone's gonna get better. But uh, maybe somebody is gonna make things a little too better. It's possible. How do you make things too better? Well, that all depends on what you think is better. Hmm. It's a, a memo. Oops. Yeah, I don't know. Memo is Minnesota. Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, and Louisiana. In uh, also is memo is uh, the state over here in Prussia. Yeah, it's a little. There's something interesting about the U.S. of A. You uh, know, I find it interesting anyway. The uh, two completely things can uh, have the same uh, acronym. I don't want to state in the other as an acronym for select group of states anyway. What were the farmers? This country is of agricultural workers to work for far too long. The country needs food, we only get it from these farmers. We need to invest in their well being to protect them from economic case and actual disaster. So if something like the Dust Bowl doesn't ever happen again. I think I get, I get them farmers farming and the workers working. That's right, so we're gonna go back to this. We're gonna be doing the thing that we did. Uh, reactionary is one. Mixed blessings of technician in the state Malo's friendship. <laughs> state Malo friendship. Hmm. Yeah, so Texas isn't compliant. Oh, this guy's doing the thing. They are missing their flag. It's just a bug. Israel will be able to win it this time. Well, I like, like to at least see that happen. Just so you guys can see uh, French Lebanon and Jordan appear. I don't think that's it. I don't think I've seen it, but of course, Osiris going to win that. Because uh, I think they're got more manpower and equipment than uh, the Israelis do. Anyways, deal with my words. There still doesn't think we are laying car and want nothing that's instruction on American side as a whole. But it's the extra group that's more than anything thinks, so maybe we better try to work with them to prove their innocence. And just try to tell them up front, maybe we can stop shining about the evil. Maybe they can stop shining about the evils of socialism. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. Peace to happen. So yeah, we get this over here. French steel Lemonon. It's basically and Jordan. Jordan broke free from Syria. And of is basically where all the not batshit crazy French people went after uh Atto's little coup. Yeah, it's kind of cool to see uh, this. So I look basically just like insane French, as they say. And uh, they're going to war with uh, them. I uh, don't know why. That's 
a interesting uh, goal for them to do. Let's see over here. The 34th Dynasty. Oh yeah, so they're so they're gonna so they're gonna go after Egypt, I think, and with Taylor Craig and another home conflict. Bridge mentioned that the actual implementation of Reef Program caused the years run to local reasons. Through the end the Navajo people in the American Southwest, while farmers relief program and soil protection initiative in the Dust Bowl areas have not been historically charged, Navajo do remember the forced relocation of the long walk in the, 1960s, the 1860s very well. Understandably, they have been resistant to federal interference in their affairs since this is the difficult bouncing act for the Jabba's progressive party, the Navajo line of sheep herds. For a large part of their income on top of the spiritual significance of herding practices. At the same time, the technocrats are proven so integral to the other agricultural aid programs are insistent that the land area cannot support the current population of livestock. Ongoing resistance to the Navajo has actually led to a number of arrests of high profile figures. It's only a friend the situation is going to be with the GPP's image of egalitarianism just as breaks down. Is there any mutual satisfaction factual outcome out here? Maybe. Maybe. I don't like Exactly, but anyhow, United Coalition, the reformist socialists have accommodated me. You can have a tear doing your financial ruin. Rather than little differences get the better of us, we should now have a common cause and move to battle the parties who stand against us. People united shall never be defeated. Divide, a house divided against itself cannot stand. United we stand, divided before. You know, you know them, that, that whole stick. And we got Navajo County. Ah. <coughs> there was that. Cynthia's going to be doing some things. The April 37 General Conference. The first General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ and the Day Saints, non Cox's presidency. Yes, sir. It's a stern reminder. Who was the real influence in the Southwest? None of the general authorities have condemned President Cox directly, but the usual assurance is of salvation for doing the Lord's work. Why right by the more humorous authorities and warned against the temptation of sin, were accompanied by political grandstanding by Prophet President Grant, and several as follows. The Mormon prophets state that social programs are not the government's job, that such works are the responsibility of morally grand groups such as religious and non profits. In his own words, he offered a warning to Washington. The only way to install socialism in this country is to tear down the Constitution and all it stands for. As we believe the United States, God's chosen nation, monetize, the saints will fight. Any such change with votes if we can, and with the sword if we must. The global impact of the general conference is too early to tell. And in the hot beds of moral influence to Utah, Nevada, West Colorado, West Wyoming, South Idaho, North Arizona, Northwest Southern New Mexico, and the wise Ohu Mormon sector. Even members of other Christian sects are being riled up to resisting the Cox policy may soon enter local governments within the Mormon free influence. Let them talk. And you don't want to skip from this whole depression. So yeah, some of the other sects of the uh, Cox presidency. Well, his religious fellows are exactly pleased with what he's doing. Despite him being all about uh you know, doing the large work, he's implementing socialism to many others. It's exactly you know all that uh, all that good. But as he said uh he basically told them cop <laughs> This is them coping. Handle. Yeah, I forget that was a thing. <clears throat> anyway, let's end the dust bowl. At last, the tune of the dust bowl has ended. Now, we will be able to that those who were displaced can return home and have work, food, and safety. A very difficult rebuilding, we should come out stronger for it. So we got to take care of the people. Ah. Take care of them. Take care of everyone in here. Or else things ain't gonna be looking quite so good. Where's company is signal? Yeah, he's gonna win that. That gray Ukraine. Now we got two Ukraines. The one stays here. 
the great beep poop has arrived. Yeah, that's what I'm calling it. If it's not the great beep poop. can go to is uh they get that weird that I've heard about oh, Bolivia one yeah yeah they did so much heat with the annexation effect but they're still very much bad oh look no we'll see one I wonder if Dredovskis will be able to maintain whatever they're doing. Like they get cooed by uh, the reactionaries or the accelerationists. We shall see, won't we? And hunger. No one shall have to starve, especially when food is in abundance. We should create more soup kitchens and provide with meals. We want to make sure the hunger not only goes down, but it's ended. As we said before, no one should die on our watch. When all the measures need are at hand. But yeah. Soon, America shall claw its way out from this depression, and everyone will come up better for it. With new reforms, implementations, and all that. Or at least I hope so. We'll see if America can survive. For about what may be coming soon. <coughs> Logistics, some field hospitals, some other one. Guys got a gun released today. Probably coming out along the way of July. She's a war story. It's contained last chapter of ongoing. You guys got his gun story by Dalton Trumbo. Which for main chapter within multiple issues saga of Sergeant Joe Boham. Bonham. All American youth have become the most accomplished soldier of the Great War. Within stories fictional setting, the U.S. joins the Entente, cutting the war short. Clear Victor adventures to Joe while over the top, but not really indicative of reality as a European trench warfare. Nonetheless, they get some positive feedback from Chris, who praise way higher than expected for his genuine literary, literary skills of the author. And of course, the artist have fell in love with the wonder of the 20th century and his exploits in Europe. Bright, brave, and unashamedly loyal to his homeland democracy, Joe brought a little bit of hope to many households across Christ's torn country. War stories, publishers are experiencing record setting still in Trombo himself. Saying a recent event that he was a proper publisher by releasing his story as a full book. I'll sing the anthem even with my mouth choked with worms. Hmm. Then, <laughs> it's a bad was. And that. And you know the Great Depression was bad, folks. I should. Sure Holy shit! It's fucking terrible. It's terrible. Sorry. And poverty in America. At last, you're in the tyranny of poverty in the United States. The people shall be the shall be able to live freely without the fear of living destitute and penniless. Poverty is dead in this place. The American nation shall rise. Who should be on the sweat of labor shall finally give some respect to them. Yep. So in we. I'll be the great savior of the nation from such a tenuous position in a small time. I own Bark dead. Then, yep, yeah, before we could do that, the death of James Renshaw Cox. The nation this morning, the president is dead. 
The dust bowl was devastating to the people in the Midwest. Carp died while died up in the climate was harsher than ever. Many sure to leave and suffer there. In California saw a mess of folks with refugees. Problem is, they weren't much better off. Economic unfortunate still ruled those streets as well, and so the refugees banded together and formed communities whenever they could. Cox has a publicity stunt and our genuine should visit one of these communities in Frisco. Here they could turn feelings. Things went well at first, cops were signing and respect for the people that poured their hearts out. About the horrors they had experienced, he promised economic reform and better protection against the climate. It was a member of applause. Carl was walking toward the car, shaking his head and helping people as he went. And then a shot rang out. Carl collapsed on the ground. People started screaming. Two men, clad in black hoods and blenchy weapons, started to yell. They called him a dirty Marxist council of Bolshevik anarchists and a race traitor among with that. The police quickly took advantage of the situation and arrested the two men, but the damage had been done. The champion of the poor and oppressed of America lay dead in the streets. His followers knew that God would save his soul, for he was just. But would God save others? Oh my god, how awful. So, yep, your boy got shot. The sin is taking over for now. And now the funeral for James is here. The room fell aside as the speaker walked to the podium. Before people chatted about the laws of the prison, they a friend. Some cried overwhelmed by the terror of the whole thing, and not the speaker. Former government Gifford Pin Pincotch had back. Cox and her in his early days, sitting in his bed for the presidency, he has been uniquely progressive and reformist in nature. It was tough seeing him go. Cox didn't just see America, he felt every part of it. He made his goal to understand the worries and chores of every single person in the country, and he worked so hard to make sure that these worries would disappear, because that was necessary for a free society. This is why the Legion killed him. Yeah. Talk about the Legion, talk about the Black Legion, by the way. They don't want America to raise forth and be what it can be. They want America to merely remain white or Protestant or whatever they think America is. Cox showed another way. Pinterest's comments have been criticized as being overly political, but he defends up saying that it's the president of field war. He wouldn't have had it anyway. Regardless, America had a new president and one more bounce power to change. That couldn't have been a normal election. But now, Finn is being sworn into the president. A little girl Finn didn't know when she was sworn as president. According to law, Vice President officially sworn the second the president heart stopped. So Finn was officially acting as president while she was being escorted by Secret Service agents out to Fis Fisco. She wanted to scream, This poor priest had been gunned down by the clan all because he cared about the poor. Now was not the time to be upset. Whenever one felt, America needed a leader. When she arrived back at Washington, D.C., she declared to the clan that Cox's mission was American governed by labor and toil would come true no matter what. And what even the more coil would not stop Cox's objective. After that, the official swear of the procedure had to be held. A judge was found, along with a copy of the Bible and the hardcover version of the Declaration of Independence. Finn snuck in a copy of the IWW Constitution to the Bible while no one was looking to her position. As the judge made a statement, the words of Joe Hill resonated in the head Don't mourn, organize. Oh, well, Finn, though, as a revolutionary anarchist into power, although that's going to be changing in the future later. And so now we have this focus tree where we will be making some very radical, radical, very, very radical decisions. So, with that, we've gone over time because I didn't expect it to happen so suddenly. Anyhow, yeah. So, so next episode we're gonna be focusing on Flynn's presidency and seeing how um such radical ideals such as union dominance, extreme welfare, healthcare for all, and all that can um can be a bit too much for people. I guess the saying is. Anyways, on the matter, I'll see you guys later. Uh,